Welcome to How to Cook That. I'm Anne Reardon and today we're making a bomb Alaska dessert with a strawberry centre in the middle. A special shout out to Kiva, Christiana, Remy J and Stefan who requested this dessert. First thing you need to do is bake a sponge cake and I've used half of my sponge cake recipe and baked it flat in a tray. If you're new to how to cook that, you'll find the fluffy sponge cake recipe video on the channel under cakes and I'll put a link in the description below the video. Using small bowls in the size that you want your Bomb Alaska desserts to be, cut out pieces of cake in the right size and then store those in an airtight container until you're ready to use them. Wash and hull your strawberries. If strawberries are not in season, you can use other fruits. Raspberries work well. You can use frozen ones and heat them with a little bit of lemon juice and sugar. And put your strawberries into a good quality bag and then add a little bit of vanilla essence. Usually when I cook strawberries like this I add some sugar but for this dessert we won't because you want the filling to be a little bit tart to offset the sweetness of the rest of the dessert. Flatten out the bag as best as you can and seal it nearly the whole way across just leaving the corner section open. Place it into a pan of boiling water with the open corner at the top and most of the air will be pushed out to the top and then just let that out and seal the bag shut. Then rest something on top of the bag so that the strawberries are sitting just below the surface of the water but not touching the bottom of the pan and return that to the lowest heat setting and leave it to sit and cook slowly. Next take some ice cream and spoon it into your dishes pushing it all the way down and then use a spoon to smooth out a section in the middle. Return this to the freezer and if you have a deep freezer or a freezer on a colder setting it can be ideal for this but it's not essential. Check on your strawberries. If they're ready, they will have released lots of this delicious juice and they'll be soft but not mushy. And then set those aside to cool. Once your ice cream is solid and your strawberries are cooled, you can turn on your oven and then you're ready to make your Italian meringue. Place your egg whites into the bowl of a mixer and then put the water and sugar into a saucepan. All of the ingredient quantities that you need for this recipe are on the website howtocookthat.net. There's a link in the description below this video. Stir it until the sugar has dissolved and then add a candy thermometer. This part of the dessert needs to be done just before you're ready to serve. You can't do this ahead of time. Then beat your egg whites until they form stiff peaks. Remember if you get any egg yolk in your whites at all they will not whip up. Once your sugar syrup reaches 238 degrees Fahrenheit or 115 degrees centigrade remove it from the heat and with your beaters still running pour it in in a thin stream into the egg whites. If you feel the side of the bowl, it will be very hot. The hot sugar syrup cooks and stabilises the egg whites. And then you need to continue beating them until they're nearly cooled. It's okay if they're still slightly warm. Run a knife around the edge of your ice cream and spoon some strawberries into the centre and then top it with your sponge cake and push it down slightly. If your ice cream is set really hard, you can place it into a bowl of warm water to loosen it from the bowl. Then invert it and use a knife to help you ease it out of the bowl. You can make one large bomb Alaska instead of individual ones. To do that you can either make a large bowl shape or a log shape works really nicely if you put the strawberries down the centre of it. That just makes it easy to slice and it looks nice. Place your Italian meringue into a piping bag. Mine is fitted with a star tip. You can use a round one or anything that you have. And when piping the Italian meringue you can really use your creativity and pipe it any way that you like. This one I'm going to do in spikes. The two things that you need to keep in mind while you're piping it is one, it needs to be completely covered because the Italian meringue helps to insulate the ice cream from the heat of the oven and two, you need to be able to pipe it reasonably quickly because you don't want the ice cream to melt. You can swirl the meringue around from the bottom all the way up to the top or try doing lines going up the sides or make up your own design. To brown them you have two options. The first is to quickly place them in a hot oven until they are just browning and serve immediately. Your second option is to flambe it. To do that, bake it in the oven quickly just to warm the outside, then slightly warm some spirits like brandy, ignite the alcohol and pour it over the dessert. Things to remember when flambeing it are if you warm the spirits they light more easily, but if you overheat them all the alcohol will be evaporated off so it's not going to light at all. If you use too much alcohol, it will burn the meringue, which doesn't taste good. Like you can see around the bottom here, it's charcoal. Don't pour alcohol from the bottle or the flame can follow it up and cause the bottle to explode. 
The flame doesn't last for long and it's only pale, so make sure you dim the light so you won't be able to see the effect and flambe it at the table. Whether you flambe it or not, when you cut into the dessert, you're going to reveal that soft strawberry center encased with the ice cream and then the meringue, which is crispy on top. It is such a delicious dessert. If you've never had it before, you've got to bake one. Thanks for watching and don't forget you can put your requests for recipes for desserts and cake decorating and chocolate in the comment section below. Don't forget to click like and share the videos and subscribe and I'll see you all next Friday. Have a great week.